But should we just get on to Labrokes this week? Yep. Lovely. Um, now, let me just get my notes up. So prepared for this episode. Oh, there you go. We're, we're leaning into VE's, VE's official champion status now. Now, for mine, wasn't even an issue prior to the race. How many horses win nine group ones? How many horses win nine races? How many <laughs> horses go to the races nine times? The Autumn Sun didn't. The Autumn Sun did not, but... Yeah, I I couldn't understand the uh, oh, dialogue. Just absolute idiots, mate. Honestly, oh, like I just what? don't get it. And it's, if you think we're that we're just you know leaning into the the current uh, you know chat, we were saying this ages ago. Yeah, go back and listen to our old podcast, you nufty. Yeah, speaking of, we have a very vast back catalogue. So yeah, yeah, if you want to give that a go. <laughs> If you haven't watched us on YouTube yet, you can do that. But, um, yeah, I think she's always been a champion, but it is a good opportunity for us to look at modern-day champions. Mm, mm. So how many do you have on your list there? Man, I just have two. Okay. Well, let's talk about VE then. Mm. Let's kick it off with her. Let's not bury the lead here. We're not a bad journalist here. We're not journalists at all. No. But we know one thing is that you don't bury the lead. You never bury the lead. No. Because why would people stick around? <laughs> <laughs> what well, I've been asking myself that question. <laughs> Wait, that many people watched our Melbourne Cup episode yeah, on YouTube? Yeah, what? Hello? Yeah. That's just uh, some Google doing its finest work. Anyway, look, we've touched on the debate very elegant, but she put it beyond doubt. Uh, Ten-time Group 1 winner now. Um, Four-length victory in the Melbourne Cup. But she's won group ones from 1,400 metres right up to the two mile, which is unbelievable. Heard a hectic stat about her. Yeah. She's never won the same race twice. I know. I saw that. How insane is that? Bizarre. How versatile is she? Yeah. I saw that during the week and I was reading through. I was like, holy shit. These are all different group ones. Yeah. It's insane. Insane. I think Corey Brown brought it up. Yeah. Um, which is, yeah, it's crazy. Different tracks, different ways of going. Yeah. Different distances, obviously. Well, soft going, heavy going. Yeah. Dry decks. Yeah. Kind of Winx like, you know. She's a special, special horse. She's, and she's not Winx. Let me get that straight. But no. Winx, it didn't matter what the conditions, the distance. She's she a just a better horse. Just went out there and got the JD. Now, VA can have an off day. She can. If she draws barrier one, you can put a line through it. <laughs> That's what we've learned over yeah. the years. Have I backed her when she has? Of course. A few times. <laughs> of course. Because <laughs> I'm an idiot. Yeah. Um, no, nah, VE is a champion. Um, yeah. She's gorgeous. By two no-name parents, Zed and Opulence. Well, Zed was servicing Clydesdales. Yeah, how's that? Insane. And uh, she's still a nutcase. Did you see her after yeah, the race? she's nuts. She's just <laughs> J-Mac on board was a big tick, though. 100%. Hindsight is a beautiful thing, as you've probably learned through uh, the journey of listening to this show, <laughs> uh, young drifters. But um, yeah, VE, for me, there's a guy racing this weekend who's pretty short in the market. <laughs> but after he conquered the Everest, I'm going to say Nature Strip's a champion. He's a modern day champion. Yeah. How many group ones has he won? Um, I was just looking at this. So obviously the Everest doesn't count, but let's call it one. Uh, Concord, the Lightning, TJ's twice. Uh, Dali, once, the Maya, the Galaxy. How many is that? One, two, three. Six. Yeah. So six group ones plus an Everest. It's pretty impressive stuff. Bucket load of money, 15 yeah. mil. You know, bit of, bit of give in the ground. Oh, sorry. <laughs> mm, yum, yum, yum. Give me some of that. Yeah, but not. don't let me get too close to the gr- to the ground because I'll, I will sneeze my head off. He's, he's he's got a nasty affliction. He's got hay fever, but he keeps winning this horse. The strip is <laughs> a shit you're not allergic to grass. It's crazy. Hay fever. You know who else is a champion of a different sport? Lee Matthews was allergic to grass. Was he? Yeah. I think you've told me that before. Yeah. And when lethal? If, you, if you ever see Lethal, old pictures of him, he's got the reddest nose in Australia. Really? Because he yeah. just he didn't enjoy it. Yep. There you yeah. go. So, you know, um, I reckon Nature Strip's got a bit of lethal in him. Real, you know, just a straight up bull. Yeah, he's just a bull, isn't he? He just goes for it. Absolute alpha. Yeah. Alpha of this field. Oh, 
<laughs> Brain this field. <laughs> Gee whiz. Um, yeah, so nature strip for me. Yeah, I love that. Uh, I've gone for like a two to three year old season champion. Oh, wasn't it just a glorious time to be a racing fan? Well, the autumn sun had to go in this list. Yeah. He'd, ha- he'd have to be the best two, two year old, three year old coming through that we've seen. Yeah, yes, 100% without a doubt. I, I, like He was unbelievable. Since we've like watched racing, we obviously didn't fully appreciate like Sepoy. Yeah, you know? so you think. Yeah, so you think, but he probably came onto the scene as a three-year-old. Yeah. The autumn sun. From two onwards, hey, yeah. He won five group ones. Yeah. He only raced eight times. Yeah, I would have loved to have seen him go up against Winks. Yeah. Oh, like God, just stick yeah. around until he's like four or five and just, yeah. oh. <clears throat> that Cox play just that light. Because that would have been her last cosplay, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Either her last one or her second, second last, last one. one, maybe. 2018? Mm, yeah, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, might have been her last one. Because I don't think he was a three-year-old when Humidor gave her a scare. It is what it is. Would have liked to have seen him with 49 and a half kegs on his back in a cosplay, mate. Holy <laughs> Holy smokes. I think, the, I think the mighty man gets the job done. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, he'd give, but it, give it, it a sight, wouldn't he? All right, let's put it this way. It, I don't think it would lower his colours at stud. No. I think it'd only enhance them. 100%. Missed opportunity, guys. Um, and maybe that's a bit of karma for what we're seeing with September Run at the moment. Oh, God. <laughs> you know what I mean? There is no way that I'm ever... I haven't spent a cent on her for a long time, and I'm glad I haven't. I don't think I've ever... Yeah, so well, well, I did, and then I, I didn't for the Coolmore, which she won, and then I did a few more times after that, like an idiot. But, oh, well. but yeah, eight times he raced, um, seven wins, five group ones, did it as a three-year-old, a two-year-old, got through the heavy going even though he didn't really like it. One of the best-looking horses you'd ever hope oh, to see. The Autumn Sun, a great name. Silks, play on. Everything you, about him. You know what I really like is a, an older stallion. Like how bloody good did Spanish Mission look in the mounting yard? Oh, he looked he looked good. And he had the chest out. Oh, he did. And he, he was knew. looking around. He's like, <laughs> I'm the man here. Oh, uh, yeah. He he knew <laughs> he, Spanish Mission. I saw him in the yard. Oh, I think I don't know if I messaged <laughs> you or you messaged me. I was just like, holy shit. Look at this. Look at this <laughs> specimen yeah. in the yard. So... I would just love to see more, you know, end tires just going into their work. Yeah. Because some of them have a think about it, which I like. like <laughs> he, he had the mind on the job. So. Yeah. You never know what you're going to get. Um, so my sort of second point, it's a group of three and I wanted to discuss it with you. Sure. And this is an open forum. Well, you know, for two. Yeah, for two. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, don't care what you guys think. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> yeah. Subscribe, please. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But three jockeys. Sure. Ollie. Yep. Hugh Bowman. Yep. J-Mac. Mm-hmm. Who would you consider out of those three modern day champions? All three? One? Two? Mm. None? Uh, Ollie. Yeah. Yeah. Ollie's I'm with you. Yeah. I'm with you, mate. 126 <laughs> group ones today for Ollie. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm thinking that if Ollie wasn't on board of Willowy today, if Ollie wasn't on board Colette on mm-hmm. the weekend, if Ollie wasn't on board Superstorm as well, mm-hmm. none of those horses win. If Ollie wasn't on board Special K the other week, he's not <laughs> roaring, mate. No one else is doing that. No, of course not. He has a he has a he did it again today with Willowy. Yeah. He was roaring that thing. Yeah, up. he did. No one can roar like him. No, it's aggressive too. Yeah, from a smaller man. Yeah. No, he's, he has a set of lungs on he him. He does. So I would hate to lose a debate to him. But well, I think I think Ollie's a modern-day champion. Absolutely. He's been around for a long time and he's still doing it. Absolute peaches left, right and centre. And full apologies, might I add, because <laughs> I potted him the other week <laughs> before the Caulfield Guineas. You did. He was on board Animo and I, I said, I'll, I'll call myself out, 100% I will, especially when it's recorded. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, the thing that's turning me off Animo a little bit is Ollie being on board. Since, <laughs> since that ride... He has been on fire. Well, maybe maybe he should be thanking you then. Oh, he definitely listens. Yeah. Percent 100. <laughs> so, no, nah, Ollie 100%. J-Mac, he'll be there. He has to... Yeah, he still has to only strive a little bit, J-Mac. How, how long would he... he be, would he be a decade into his career? Yeah, he missed some time, remember? Yeah. Um, he's know. only 30, J-Mac, 29. Yeah. So he's probably, what, a decade into his career... 
You know who I reckon stiff to miss out on that? It's probably Kieran McAvoy. Yeah. Yeah, even Bossy. Bossy. Bossy, yeah. Bossy in a like a big big race. It's been a bit hit and miss in the last year or so, but you know, he usually gets the job done in a big race. Yeah, fair. Yeah. Fair. But I think if you're talking consistency, there's none better than Ollie. Mm. J Mac's pretty good, but he gets the rides. Ollie doesn't get the rides. No. And Huey, well, Hugh's swung me in the last year. He really has. Because uh, I was no mm, – he kind of put me off today. <laughs> <laughs> Biscayne Bay. I thought that was a cracking bed. <laughs> Mate, the market thought so too. I know. So I, I'd, yeah, checked afterwards and, um, yeah, got pumped in. It did. Uh, of course, I got the overs and just – Basically had none. Um, I think it didn't run out the distance. Anyway, uh, but yeah, Huey obviously partnered what a quarter of his Group One wins with Winks. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, he's he's turned me around. I think he's like he's kind of gone back to the working hard ethic. Yeah. Where during the Winks era, he's admittedly said that it kind of just all came for him. So, anyway, um, that's modern day champions. Yep. Thanks, Lad Brokes. Thanks, Lad Brokes. Uh, if you want to read some of their other uh, special interest articles, you can go to labbrokes forward slash blog. And down the bottom there, you'll see our stuff along with some other stuff, which is absolutely fantastic. But the last day of the Flemington Carnival, mate, is the RC Sprint, i.e. Dully Sprint, mm-hmm. and the McKinnon as well. Yeah. 